Hello, everybody. I wanted to just take a moment to show you what is expected whenever you turn in your final work of art. So what you're going to want to do is navigate to the ninth slide on your grade specific portfolio. Then after you do that, you'll just want to insert an image by camera. You should know how to do this because we went over it, but if you don't, you'll just follow those steps there. And then you'll hold up your image and take a quick photograph. I'm going to do it a little closer. Try to get your image as straight on as you can. I know it's a little hard with your computer's camera. Then you'll press insert to insert your image. If you have any open space around your drawing, you're going to want to use the cropping tool to crop out those open spaces. And then just to make it super nice and neat, you'll go to Format Options. Let me move this out of the way. Press Adjustments. Change the brightness. Like, I want to bring my brightness up. And then my contrast up. And then I'm starting to think, oh, that looks way too bright. You can just bring the brightness back down. Easy peasy. Now, we want it to look super fancy, so we also are looking for a background. Be sure to add a background. I want to choose an image as a background. What do I want? Hmm. Let's say I am just super inspired by Elmo. I'm going to put Elmo in my background. Oh my goodness. Look. Sesame Street. Perfect. There's my background. And then I want to make that a little bigger. What if I wanted to add some borders? Yeah, I can add some borders. I'm going to add a purple border or maybe a blue one. Oh, no, I'll do purple. And I like them thick, so I'm going to do four. And dash borders are always super fun. And then what we really want is you to write just a simple little sentence or word or statement next to it. So what you can do is you can press this button here in this top left corner. And it says text box. It has the T in the middle of a square. Then you'll drag, create a box, any size you want. It'll go like this. Um, the main thing we want you to do is ask yourself, did I like this project? Did I not like this project? And then tell me why. So I'm going to say, I liked this project because I got to use pattern and luck. Then tell me something about it. Like, what's your favorite part of it? I'm going to quickly say my favorite part of my project is the purple dragon scales just because in one area of mine it kind of looks like dragon scales and then since i just want to make this like clear make sure you're able to see it i'm going to fill it in with white uh, if you want to do that you can just click the text box Click fill color with this paint tool up in the top left. Then just click a color and you got it. All right, now those are the main things we're looking for. Of course, you're welcome to embellish it a little more, make it fancy uh, by adding a drop shadow or a reflection. Just make it your own. But what we are mainly looking for is a cropped photo. You should be able to see it very clearly and then just a statement about it. And then I want a background. I want to see a background on it. It needs to be something that you're inspired by. And then you're also welcome to add more images like y'all have been. But that's what we're looking for. All right.